In this video today, I'm gonna to walk through all of my Serato DJ Pro crates. So on the left-hand side, you can see all my crates. They're under this 2023 folder. And as you can see, I have a bunch of crates in here. Um, they also have sub crates in there as well, but I'll go through them as the video goes on. For each crate, I'm gonna just explain why I created it and how it helps me in my DJ set. So that can kind of give you an idea of what's going through my head. And you might be thinking the same thing. So you might wanna create this same exact crate. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start with opening mixes. So opening mixes is pretty much what it says on the crate. So these are the mixes that I'll usually play at the start of a set if it's not busy. You know, when you walk into a club and there's absolutely no one in there you might not want to start playing just yet so you might want to put on one of these mixes so if you see for all these tracks you can see that if i order these by by time this one's 99 minutes this one's 92 minutes and they go all the way down to 31 minutes so i can put these mixes on and i can press play and i can go do something else i can go talk to the bar staff i can go talk to the manager of the club or i might just get myself ready i might get myself a glass of water i might get myself a drink anything like that if there's no one in the club and i don't really feel like djing at that point I'll just put on one of these mixes. If you want me to send you any of these warm-up mixes, please let me know in the comments down below or contact me on Instagram at DJC underscore B and I'll happily send them over to you. So obviously there's only eight tracks in here and then we start getting into the main crates. So the way I've kind of ordered my crates is by sections of the night. So opening, so obviously if you don't want to put a mix on, um, you're going to be playing some opening music. You don't want to play too much upbeat music at the start. You don't want to play anything that you're going to play later on in the night. You want to play something that you've never really played before or like something that's quite chilled. So if I open up my opening crate, you can see in here that I've got a bunch of crates in here that I've created myself that I could use for opening. So we're going to go through a few of them. So if I click R&B opening one and then order this by number, basically these are sets that I've played previously before. So normally what I'll do is I'll DJ a whole entire Entire night then at the end of that night I'll get the history of that entire set and then I'll put it into its own crate but what I've done here is I've taken the opening of that set and put it into its own crate so this is just R&B opening one so I've just I'm playing a few old school tracks here so you can see that the tracks here are from 1991 1997 so these are older tracks that I would never really play in main set um, and then in here are just how many tracks are in here so in here is just 46 tracks that I can start off with and then when I've finished these tracks I can go onto another crate, hopefully there's more people in the club, then I can start my night properly. So that's R&B opening one. I've got another crate in here, alternate R&B opening. So this is just another crate that I've created from a previous set. So there's just a bunch of tracks in here, Be Alone No More by Another Level, and just a few old school R&B tracks. There's a few new school R&B tracks in here as well. So these new school R&B tracks, I would never play main set, so I'd put them in here as well. Um, so yeah, this is just an alternative um, R&B opening. So basically, at the start of a set with me, I like to know what track I'm gonna play first and then I'll kind of figure out as I go along what I'm gonna play next. But you might come into a set, you might not be feeling well that day or you might not be feeling in the mood. So if you have an opening set ready for you, you can jump into the set, start playing some of these tracks and then when you get more in the mood, then you can start going through your crates yourself and then picking the songs that you want. This is just a kind of way to get you started at the start of the night. So then I've got another crate here called Opening Old School. So if I open up this, I've got two smart crates in here. I've got R&B and I've got hip hop. So if I go into the R&B smart crate and then open up the settings, you can see that the smart crate rules are remixer is yellow, which I'll explain in a minute. Year is before 2010 and genre is R&B. So basically we've built an old school R&B crate. The way I determine old school is if it's before 2010. And obviously we've got the genre here, which is R&B. And then the remixer is yellow. Basically the way I color code my music library is, if it's green, it's a banger, which I'm gonna play during main set. Um, if it's yellow, it's more chilled out vibes. It's more chilled out music that I won't necessarily play main set, but it's something I can play at the start of a set or maybe edging into warm up. And then the red color is for slower music, stuff like 50 BPM, your slow, sexy R&B. Um, so yeah, so this crate has been built up of chilled out old school R&B music. What I done to build this crate was I went through my entire R&B folder and I went through and I listened to every single track. If I thought it was a banger, I would put here in the remixer column, green. If I thought it was a more of a chilled out song, I'd put yellow. And if it was a more of a slow, sexy R&B track, I'd put red. So then once I've done that, I was able to build my own smart crate here. And this is how I built this old school R&B smart crate, which is for opening. And then I've got the same thing here for hip hop. As I just mentioned before, I color code all my chilled out tracks as yellow. 
So if I click this one here, all open in yellow, I've got yellow hip hop 2010 plus and yellow R&B 2010 plus. So pretty much this means that all the tracks in here are chilled out tracks which are over the year of 2010. So if I open up this smart crate here, you've got genre is R&B, remix is yellow, and year is after 2009. So it's gonna be 2010 and above. This is just a good crate to have if you don't really wanna play old school music at the start of the set. There's a bunch of new school R&B tracks and hip hop tracks that we can play at the start. It doesn't matter that they're new, you can still play them at the opening set because you're not necessarily gonna play them during the peak times. So it's always good to have a crate of newer music that you can play at the start, just so you're not always playing old school music for your opening set. So if I come out of here, if I open up this a bit wider, so I've got a, another crate here, opening 1990 to 2000 R&B warm up. So in here has a bunch of tracks in here that I can play, which are from the 1990s up until 2000. There's a track here that's actually 2006, so this is in the wrong place, but you kind of get the idea of what I'm trying to build here. So I might want to play some old school R&B from the 90s. I can jump into this crate here. I can order it by BPM and then just work my way down. Next crate here is UK Funky. So this crate is quite old. I haven't updated this in a while, but this is just a bunch of UK Funky tracks that I used to open up my set with. Um, some of these tracks I can actually play main set now, but this was when I first started. I kind of just had a few UK funky tracks that I wanted to open up with because I wanted to be a little bit different. I didn't want to always play r and I didn't want to always play hip hop. I wanted to try something a bit different. So I've just built myself a UK funky opening crate. The next crate here, which has helped me out a lot, some different venues is opening chilled house. So say for example, you go to a venue and there's a lot of people sitting down and they want to just chill out. They don't really want to party. You can play some background chilled house. And this is why I built this crate here. So in here, this has a bunch of, um, house tracks in here that I know that every track in here isn't really going to be too up tempo so yeah so this is why I built this crate here so in here are just a bunch of previous opening sets that I've done previously in the past so you can see here 22nd of February 2022 walkabout 12th of March 2020 2022 walkabout so basically what I've done is I've taken the history I've taken the opening set and I put it into here. This is just another way to get me started just in case I get stuck at the start of a set. And then I've got a bunch of smart crates here as well. So if I go into new school R&B 2018 and over, like I said before, you don't always have to start your sets with old school music. So I've built a smart crate here. So if I open up this, I've just got the two rules in here. Genre is R&B and year is after 2017. So everything in here is gonna be 2018 over. So in here, say for example, I wanted to start my set with 2018 plus R&B, I can jump in here and then start my set here. Same with Afrobeat. So basically this is just a smart crate of opening Afrobeats. I went from my Afrobeats folder and I thought, you know what, let me start marking some of these as opening Afrobeats. So if you see here, I've got a hashtag here, uh, opening Afrobeats. So I went through all my Afrobeats tracks and marked all the tracks that I thought were opening with this hashtag. So if I open up this smart crate, you can see that the, the rule is grouping is opening Afrobeats. So now I know if I come into this crate, I know that every single track in here is an opening Afrobeats track. I'm not going to be touching any bangers. I'm not going to be getting the dance floor too upbeat too early. Another crate here, just opening R&B warm up. So if I edit this, I've got a comment here, opening R&B warm up. So again, I went through my R&B folder and I marked every single track that I thought was opening as R&B warm up. So if I scroll over to here, it's a comment. So you can see here, opening R&B warm up. So every single track in here, I know that I can play at the start of a set and it's not gonna be a banger. It's not gonna produce too much energy on the dance floor. Again, a crate here, opening 2010 UK. So if I fancy playing some newer UK music, again, I can jump into this crate. Uh, the rule of this is the year is after 2009. The genre is UK music and the comment contains opening UK. So if I scroll over here, the comment here has opening UK. Every single track in here, I can play at the start of a set. And again, I won't be touching any bangers. Then on the left hand side, I've got um, opening remixes. So I use a website called The Mashup which is a record pool that has a lot of mashups, remixes and edits. So I've downloaded a bunch over the years and initially I had one folder called remixes and that was it. When I was DJing at my sets, I was going through this big, big folder and I was like, I'm not gonna play this. This, is, this isn't suitable for this time of the night, blah, blah, blah. So what I started to do was separate the remixes out. So again, I went into my remixes folder and I went through and I marked all the ones that I would only play at the start of the set with opening remixes. So if I edit this, 
you can see that the comment contains opening remixes. So if I scroll over to the right, you can see that these have opening remixes in the comment co column. So everything in here, I'll only ever play at the start of a set. I'll never play it for warm up. I'll never play it for main set. I'll never play it for closing. This is just a good way to separate out all your music so you're not scrolling through too many tracks. Um, I've got opening 2010 plus hip hop, opening 2010 plus R&B. And then I've created a newer crate here, which is 80 BPM 2019 R&B. So it's just more newer songs over the BPM range of 80 BPM. This is just a thing that I'm trying out. I'm just trying out different ways to open up my sets. I'm trying to get away from just playing old school music at the start of a set. So I'm building more and more crates, which will allow me to play newer music at the start of my sets. So that was the opening crate. The next one is Lounge. So I done a set about two months ago where I needed to play for an art exhibition. They didn't want any party music. They didn't want any upbeat music at all. All they wanted was some lounge music. The people that booked me sent me a bunch of these tracks. So this is just a crate that I've built called Lounge. So this is a smart crate. If I open up this, you can see that the genre is lounge. And you can see here that all these tracks in here just have the genre lounge. So all these tracks here, or just really chilled out music that you'll only really play at like a, an art exhibition or if you're playing at some sort of like shisha lounge or something like that, you'd only play these songs. So the, I don't use this crate too often, but it's really good to have. If you want these tracks, let me know in the comments down below and I'll send them over to you. Then if we head over to the garage folder, um, if I open this up, I've got a few sub crates in here, which I explain. All Garage, this is gonna be every single Garage track that I have in my library. Every single track in my library has a genre. So I know that in this smart crate here, it has every single Garage track that I own. So in here, I, I have about 306 Garage tracks. I had a lot more, but I deleted the majority of the ones that I know I didn't even need. In here, just a bunch of all my Garage tracks, all the Garage tracks that I feel like I know and I feel like I need. And then when you dive down deeper into this sub crate here, what I've done is I've split um, the garage tracks into green and yellow. So green meaning bangers and yellow meaning warm up. So basically what I done was I went through all my garage tracks. If I thought it was a really big song that I'm gonna use in every single set, I marked it as green. And if I thought it was just a warm up track that's something I would probably open up my set with, I'd mark it as yellow. So if I open up the green one here and click edit, you can see that the remixer is green. So if I go onto this one and then scroll over to Remixer, you can see that all these tracks here are green. So if you look at some of these tracks, you've got Rewind, Artful Dodger, While Out, Mr. Dynamite, you've got Sorry, Monster Boy, you've got Little Man Side. So all those tracks, all these bangers, I have in one single location, so I'm not scrolling through a massive garage folder. And then in here, in the yellow one, it just has a lot more chilled out garage music that I wouldn't necessarily play in a main set or a main garage set, but it will be something that I'd probably open up my set with. And then if I go into Red Garage, delete so basically any of the tracks that I felt that I didn't need anymore I marked them as red so what I need to do now is go through all these tracks here and just delete them one by one making sure that I don't need them anymore so in here my probably my smallest crate if I open up this jungle folder you can see that um, we have two tracks original not a shy effect and incredible uh, general Levi I don't have much jungle tracks I don't really play jungle I just have these two really known tracks and I feel like that's all I need I might update this in the future but for now I don't feel like I need to update it. If we open up the UK Funky folder, again like the Garage folder, I've got an all UK Funky. So all these tracks in here have the genre UK Funky. Every single track in here is UK Funky and I feel like every single track in here that I possibly would play. Now I have a crate here called UK Funky Commercial Selected. So basically I've created this crate. So if you're in a commercial venue, I can jump in here and these tracks here, everyone should know. So if I have a look here, you've got Too Many Man, In The Morning, Migraine skank heads shoulders knees and toes these tracks i can play in a commercial venue and it will go off this is just an easy way for me to access these tracks without having to scroll through my uk funky folder have you ever been in a scenario where you're looking for a specific track you can't remember the name that's how i normally feel most of my sets so what i've started to do now is i started to make my life a little bit easier so i've started to make these crates called selected which you'll see later on in the rest of the videos that will help me so if i go into here i know that i can jump in and play party hard i know i can play funky anthem these tracks are just just the big hitters that I want to play in this commercial set. And then once I've finished with these, I can jump onto a different genre. This is just a way to make your life easier when you're DJing. When you're DJing and you're looking for too many tracks, your brain is working too much. What you want to try and do is just make your life a little bit easier. So the next crate we've got is remixes. So we've got four sub crates in here. All remixes, opening remixes, warm up remixes, and ladies remixes. Previously, before in my opening crate, I showed you 
I talked to you about the opening remixes. So these are all tracks I would only play at the opening part of the set. Obviously here we've got all remixes. Like I said, I download all my remixes from the mashup. Anything that's a remix, a mashup and edit, I'll mark with the genre uh, remix. So if I edit this, you can see that the genre is remix. So every single track in here is an edit. These are all the edits that I've gained over the years. So in here, I think I've got 728 edits. I have deleted a lot over the years because obviously some of them I will never ever play. Some of them are not that great. So when I'm DJing sometimes, I don't want to have to scroll through this crate here. So what I've done is I've created two more sub crates. So warm up remixes and ladies remixes. So warm up remixes, these are tracks that I can play during my warm up set. The way I play it is opening set, warm up set, main set, warm down set. So my warm up set, this is when I'm trying to get everyone on the dance floor, trying to get all the girls ready. So in here, I can jump in and play any of these tracks because I've gone through, listened to them and I'm like, you know what? I can definitely play these during my warm up set. So every track in here, I know that I can play in my warm up set. And then I've also created a sub crate called Ladies Remixes. So some of the remixes are good, but they're not necessarily just for all the girls. So what I've done is gone through all my remixes and made sure that I made a crate for just the ladies. The most important part as a DJ is to make sure that you get the girls dancing. So in here you've got some edits like Buy Your Drink, Miss Independent, uh, you've got No Scrubs, um, Love Sick Mashup, No Games, No Peaches, you've got Cardi B Up mixed with Best Friend. There's just a bunch of edits that I've gained over the years that are just for the ladies that will work and get girls on the dance floor. So that was the first set of all my DJ crates in Serato DJ Pro. If you would like a list of all these tracks in these crates, check the link in the description down below. That will take you to my store where you can purchase the list of all these tracks but just remember they're not mp3s they're csv files of all the lists in these crates there are also a bunch of free ones in there so if you want to try them out you can in the next video i'm going to walk you through my warm-up and main set crates and these crates are using every single dj set so i'm going to leave that video here so all you need to do is click this video here and it will take you to the next video i'll catch you in the next one